pen, he ordered the pen to write. And the pen asked, what should I write, O Lord? And Allah said, write the destiny of all of my creation till the day of judgment. The Prophet tells us, alayhi salam, this was 50,000 years before Allah created the creation. Stop. Please, stop. Stop. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future King of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Peace of Christ to all of you, please invite your friends, and let us have some good time together. Before we start, we pray to Allah, may Allah bless the testicles of all Muslims, grant them long penis as he promised, and grant them all the virgins who they have no panties, who you can see through their bones. And then Muslim, they come to us and they speak about logic, and what is logical and what is not. A religion promise endless penis is logical. A religion promise every human being just because he pray to Allah worship Allah 80,000 little boys to be a slave for eternity it is logical Islam is religion of logic the prophet who went to the sky in the top of a flying mule and nobody saw him it is logical while the Quran says it take 1,000 years just to go for the angels it is logical so Muhammad he went and came back in a few hours it is logical we have a guy, his name is uh, Yes Israel, death to Palestine, is a Muslim. He just said he want to make us a barbecue. And actually he just said, it's time to do recovery with Quran recitation. And I wonder why your prophet, he died by poison of a rat, when he have the Quran recitation recovery. It is logical. And why your prophet, he was infected by black magic when he told you if you read Quran, you can destroy the black magic. It is logical. So he read Quran every day and still he could not stop the black magic. And then Allah, he sent two guys. One of them is his Zibril. Zibril, he come to Muhammad. He put him in the floor. And uh, the other guy, which is an angel, he's an assistant. Like, you know, Zibril always come with a nurse, you know. So he put Muhammad in the floor. He says, uh, Khabibi, uh, Jibril, what's wrong with this guy? You know, this, this angel he was a Jew, you know. Habibi Jibril, what's wrong with this guy, Jabir? He said to him, he hold him from his toes, and he said he is infected by a black magic. Oh. So where are your Quran recovery? And what does it do? No, no. And the funny is, he says, Israel, he put a screen, like he, he, he take it off, Palestine. But the stupid Allah never said the word Palestine, not even single ones. And the stupid Allah is the one who gave Israel to the Jews. Isn't it your stupid God, Allah? In chapter 5, verse number 21, he says, Ye hey Jews, enter the holy land which Allah assigned for you and kill all the Palestinians. 
<laughs> yeah, I did not start yet. This is not our topic. I'm just giving a spank to little boy. You think you have religion. You don't. You are a zucchini. Oh, my people, enter the Holy Land between two brackets, Palestine. You see, there's no Palestine in the Quran. Your stupid God, he ordered the Jews to go and kill every Palestinian. And not only that, when they refused to kill the Palestinian, do you know what he did? He made them lose their way in the desert for 40 years. So why you come today and you claim, you know, Palestine, you know, Palestine, and then you take Palestine from us. Allah gave it to them. Are you against the Quran now? Abdul, I will let you rest with some sauce. And you see who can do barbecue to who? I did not even start. Now we go to our topic. We have this potato. Sheikh uh, <clears throat> Othman. Sheikh Othman is the best. Forget about the rest. I cannot find a better comedy than this guy. Look, look, and I, I will use the, uh, the, the thump he used for his videos. It's the best. I do not need to, you know, like I bought a software to do thump. I don't know how even to use them, you know. I'm not advanced like Sheikh Uthman. He have a master degree in hadith. And then he quote a hadith of Umar al-Khattab written in the year 1998. I mean, can you believe it that Umar al-Khattab was alive in 1998? And he go to a Christian guy and he said to him, do you know who is Umar? The Christian guy, he said, huh? Relax, relax, relax. Do you know who's Omar? The guy, uh, uh, relax, relax. And now I will quote to you the chain of narration. And the coward, the liar, the fabricator who claimed he have a, you see, one of two. Either you don't have a master degree in Hadith, you do not know Arabic, or you are a fabricator. Or you know what? I will add one. You are so stupid. And actually, I agree all of them. Because don't you know that people, they will go and check? And they will see that this is a footnote written in 1998. You donkey. You are quoting to Omar in 1998. He said that. And he's talking about the Spanish acquisition. This is, should make you cry. Khalas, khalas. This is my bad. Khalas. No, it's not khalas. You became the joke of everybody. So now today, our topic is the following. This guy, he have a video, it says, he said to the Christians, your God killed? God killed God? We are, the, the Christian, they said to him, no, the Roman killed Jesus. So he said, oh, <laughs> the Roman killed Jesus. How you can kill God? Just to show you how stupid those donkeys are. By your logic, Jesus must be God then. Because no Roman, no Jews can kill God, according to you. And according to the stupid religion of Islam, Jesus never been killed. Bingo. So based on your own logic, you see how we destroy your stupid question in two seconds? Based on your own logic, Jesus must be God. Because you cannot kill God. This is the whole point, right? Well, they could not kill Jesus. And if we ask this potato, where is Jesus now? He will say in heaven. And where is Muhammad now? He is a cockroach in the sewage. He can't even make a noise. He can't hurt nobody. He is dead. And not only he is dead, even the Muslim did not bury him for three days. And then they bury him only when his body starts farting. His belly, the hadith says, this is a hadith, not the quotation in the notebook. And you claim this is Umar al-Khattab, written 1998, you coward. And then this coward, he claimed that he did not notice. It was a mistake, khalas, khalas. No, it cannot be a mistake. Because you said to him, let me read for you the narration. And you did not even read the hadith. You jumped to the note. Abu Bakr haddathana, haddathana waqiyah, waqiyah, haddathana who? Waqiyah? Who is the heck is waqiyah? I mean, how in the world even his mother, she called him waqiyah? Why, she, he flipped from the top of the shelf? Huh? Waqiyah? MashaAllah, MashaAllah, his name is waqiyah. You, all of you are waqiyah. 
Wakia number one, Wakia number two, Wakia number three, Wakia number four, Wakia. What a Wakia you are, brother. So when a Muhammad and he come to us and he's claimed that he have a logic, do you see how easy to destroy him? So when a potato like this, he says to you, well, if Jesus is God, should not be killed. You say to him, well, that means Jesus must be God in Islam too. Because nobody can kill Jesus in Islam. And not only that, Muhammad was killed. So listen to Islam. In Islam, nobody can kill Jesus. In Islam, a woman, she go and she went to Walmart. I mean, she is a Jew. She will not go to spend too much money. What do you expect? So she went to Walmart. She bought a poison for a rat. She put it in the food of Muhammad. And, and Muhammad died. And then Abdul is speaking about how Jesus can be God and how he will get killed. And he lie and he says that God killed God. With nowhere in the Bible it says that our God, he killed Jesus. God the Father, nowhere it says that. Nowhere, in fact, this person is speaking against the Quran teaching. Let us see the stupid book of Muhammad. The Jews, they said, we killed Jesus. Who? The Jews. You see, the Quran never come with such an argument. Never. Those Muslims, fake. I mean, I know, I know why... 100,000 Afghani, they, they, they run from Afghanistan. They are running from the lies of Islam and the stupid religion of Islam. Look what your stupid Quran says. And they are saying, we killed the Messiah. And by the way, this is a false translation. There's nothing in the language called Messiah. It is the Messiah. You change the translator, you know, this religion is the most corrupt, false in everything. Translation, teaching, shakes, answers. You know, I mean, this is the religion of fort. This will remind me, actually, as long as I mentioned fort, uh, when a guy, he fought in the presence of Omar al-Khattab while he was praying, Omar al-Khattab, he ordered everybody, because of the dice of somebody, to do a evolution again and to repray because of one fort. But he himself did not do it. I mean, do you see how easy this religion can be destroyed? The, the, all the Muslims, their prayer to Allah was destroyed by one fort. One fort. So, my Abdul, this is how weak your religion is. If a fort can destroy your religion, should we fart at you? Read with me. They said, we killed the Christ, the Christ, actually, it doesn't say in Arabic, there's nothing that's called the Christ, the Christ, the Messiah, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, and here you see the stupidity, the Jews they don't believe in Allah, and if the Jews, they believe that Messiah is really a messenger of God, if we say the word Allah, meaning God here, then why do they want to kill him? You know, well, why, what, uh, what does that mean? Why, why are they saying that? They will deny because if he's supposedly messenger of God, but as you see here, they are acknowledging him. But the fact that Jews, they killed Jesus because they did not acknowledge him to be the Messiah. And here you see the fault of Allah. But here you see the answer for the stupid accusation he's saying that God of the Christian, he killed God of the Christians. When even the Quran says, like, you know what, you idiot, the one who did that is the Jews. And now we want to go to the second uh, 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 a young lady was killed in the northern part of Nigeria. Well, we will take, we will, uh, we will do what she cannot do. And now she is dead, we are alive. We will make Muhammad shish kebab. This is actually, when the Muslim, they do that, that should encourage each one of you to do more. When they kill a Christian or anyone who criticizes Islam, this is in order to threat you, to scare you, so you became a coward and you shut up your mouth. So you should... Don't complain in the chat. Go make a channel in your YouTube. I mean, if you cannot make a channel in YouTube just to post videos, I mean, how coward you are. How lazy you are. If you are really interested, if you really care, 
I mean, people, they complain about Muslims killing people, but you don't do anything. And by not doing anything, you support Islam. You support terrorism. People complain, they complain, but nobody want to fight this garbage cult. The Muslim, they killed somebody. And what you do? You come to a chat and you complain. Good for you. So look what happened here with us. This coward here, they, he forgot that according to Islam, everything is a destiny and a fate. Which means if somebody die, how he die, and when he die, it is written and it is decision made by Allah. It is a decision made by Allah. But that what, what that had to do with our topic here? Well, if Jesus was killed, as the Christian they claim, and the Jews they claim, then that was decision made by Allah. So how even you claim, you stupid, that the Christians are wrong and you are right. If according to Islam, if Jesus was killed, it's Allah who killed him. If Muhammad was killed, it's Allah who killed him. Are we listening, people? Are we learning? According to the cult of the Muhammadan, everything is a destiny, everything is a fate. And this is why I played for you this video, where this sheikh, he taught you that every fate of every human being, written 50,000 years before the creation, and here you see the stupidity of Muhammad, because how 50,000 years before he created anything, if there's nothing and there's no time? 50,000 years according to what? Was Allah living in the earth? You have it 24 hours a day? I mean, do you see the stupidity? Those Muhammadan, they eat too much in Ramadan, they get so fat, and then they speak about, I'm skinny, look at the mirror. My friend, the mirror you are using is a Chinese mirror. Don't you see yourself for? It's broken. Listen carefully and love. 50,000 years before time is exist, Years, 50,000 years. The Prophet tells us, alayhi salam, this was 50,000 years before Allah created the creation. Okay. So now before Allah created the creation, Allah, he went back, he celebrated 50,000 years in, in, in anniversary. When he wrote his first book, the first book of Allah, written 50,000 years before the creation, brother. Okay, what years? There's no years at the time. And how? And what do you mean years for God? Where he live? Sunrise, sunset, this is a day. There was no sun. I mean, you, you people, you follow a donkey. The prophet said, that's just the prophet. Said, nobody want to think. Nobody want to use his fart. The same as Omar al-Khattab, one guy, he, I will make a video actually. Okay. I just remember this hadith actually because we spoke about fart. May Allah. I mean, this is the only religion, you see, when I was studying law. Imagine we have a long chapter in our book. What law have to do with fart? I mean, did I join law school or gasoline school or methanol school or laboratory chemical school or fart explosion schools? We learn, we join a school of law. Why we are learning about fart? Ahkam al durat The rules of durat, farting. The rule of farting? By the way, as long as Allah he wrote our destiny, 50 years, 50,000 years before he created us, he wrote there how many fart we do? I guess so, because everything we do. Everything. Everything. I just came from the bathroom. This is written 50,000 years before the creation. Okay, Abdul, tell us what the Prophet said. And, and by the way, if you want to shut up anybody in, in Islamic country, just say the Prophet said. Who is going to discuss, who dare to discuss, who dare to question? The Prophet said. Terrorist. Hitler said. Yeah, tell us, brother, some wisdom. The Prophet tells us, alayhi salam, this was... You see, they cannot even say his name without... Alayhi salatu wassalam. Allah pray on him 
and salute him. Have you ever heard of God, he salute the prophet? I mean, if you serve in the army, the sergeant, he serve, you know, he salute the officer, the lieutenant, he serve, you know, salute the major, the major, he salute the colonel, etc. But a, a God, he salute his prophet, Assalamu alaikum, chink, ha, Muhammad. Muhammad, he says, uh, Aris. Look, what the heck? Okay, what happened? What the prophet said? Tell us. 50,000 years before Allah created the creation. Mm. So this was before creating the universe oh boy. as we know it. Uh. 50,000 years before. Everything is mm. done and over with. So now the confusion lies. If Allah has predestined everything is going to happen in my life. Hey brother, I have a question. Allah, he wrote everything where we don't want you to miss the part, the good part of it, because Allah, he wrote, how he wrote, do you think Allah, he write like you? <laughs> you are mistaken, brother. Why do anything? Very short question that requires a lecture. Predestiny is one of the six pillars of Iman, of faith that no Muslim can be a Muslim without believing in them. So the last sixth pillar of it all is to believe in predestiny. You know what? I'm not sure if it was six or six pillars. I think there's a confusion here with the numbers. Because when you read the pillars of Islam, all of them, they will lead us into sex. So I advise the Muslims to switch when you speak about six, six pillars. It's not six pillars. It's not, because what is the point of this, those pillars? Is it six or six? It is the six pillars of Islam. Because you pray, you believe, you blah, 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 do jihad, blah, 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 to do what? To get sex. The sex pillars of Islam, mashallah. Continue, brother. Sorry for interrupting you because sex is very important in my life. I'm a person, I, I, I woke up in the morning, I say the sex pillars, I get sex. And then I eat lunch, I say sex pillars, I get sex too. And then I, you know, and the prophet himself, by the way, he was the lowest person in mankind in sex. He said that, I can show the hadith. And then he invoked Allah. And then Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it, he got the power of 40 men. But think about it here, as long as it's a predestiny. So Allah in his book, 50,000 years ago, he decided to make the penis of the prophet not to function. The prophet, he came to lie. He became a youth. He put his hand there, nothing. He played music for it, nothing. He played the anthem, nothing stand up. People come, people go. He don't even show respect and stand up. It was destiny. Then Allah, he destiny that Muhammad will invoke Allah, asking him for help to fix his penis. Destiny. Then Allah, who made the destiny of the penis of Muhammad not to work, he decided to go to his kitchen and this is what destiny too, which means Allah, he destiny himself to do things. Destiny. So he went to the kitchen, he made a dish of shish kebab, and then he sent it to Muhammad with the engine debris. Destiny. Then Muhammad, he ate it. Destiny. And then his penis, boing, 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 zip, 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 zip. You can't even stop it. I mean, it's like a host. You open the water in it suddenly, and the water is so strong, and the end is free. And the end of the host is all over the place. And sperm was coming like crazy in the face of Aisha, the face of Khadija, the face of everyone. <laughs> prophet, Prophet, hold your penis. It's done. It's all over. You know, he, he's Prophet. He says, I cannot stop it. It's destiny. And a Muhammadan come to us and to speak about what? Logic. Continue logic, please. We are here to learn about your logic. To believe in what Allah had ordained. Mm. Whether it is good or other than that. Well, what do you mean, what other than that? I'm, I'm not, I'm slow. 
whether it's good or other than that. Why you don't tell us the other than? So now, if you commit sin, Allah made the destiny you commit sin. What the heck? If you sleep with somebody, Allah made destiny you sleep with somebody. What the heck? I feel comfortable and now. Let me count how many women I slept with. The first year, 2,000. Second year, 20,000. Yeah, because second year, I was eating uh, shish kebab. You know, I got more money than second year. Like first year, I was eating falafel. I mean, falafel. Come on. You know what you expect from falafel. So second year, I start eating shish kebab. Alhamdulillah. Uh, yesterday, I ate sardine. So, uh, uh, so brother, it's destiny. And this is why Muhammad, look at the genius Muhammad. I mean, who can beat Muhammad in his geniushood? You see Muhammad, he is a prophethood, geniushood, penishood. I mean, all the hood you can imagine. So look what Muhammad, he said. Please don't flood the text with those uh, faces. I mean, come on, we are not kids. But one face, sloughing faith. I mean, is, do you think us we are blind? Do you need to flood all those things? Or what's wrong with you? By the way, this guy who flood the text like this, with those uh, faces here, this is, was a destiny, just to let you know. Okay? So we cannot blame him. It was destiny. Allah, he wrote in his book, 50,000 years before the creation. He is going to put those faces and I am going to say those words. When I say those words, automatically those faces, he will type, type in, in, the, in, the, in the screen and they will come to us. Alhamdulillah. Destiny. So now you rape a child, it's a destiny. You kill somebody, it's a destiny. You rob a bank, it was a destiny. Your child molester, it was a destiny. Are you now touching your nose, Abdul, taking boogers? It was destiny. Read careful with me. The Prophet said, and they look, look, the Prophet is sure. I mean, what I like about Muhammad is his confidence. You see, there's many things about Muhammad. One of them is about being confidence. This is confidence. What the heck is that? Hey, hey, Uthman, please don't make fun of my Arabic. Masaha, masah, masaha, masahat. Masa what the heck? You find money, Messiah? I found money, donkey, like you now. So look, the messenger of Allah, may Allah pray on him and salute him. You see, the translation is lie. It doesn't say, may Allah please. That doesn't say that. In Arabic, it says, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah pray on him and salute him. <laughs> Verily, 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 I like it when Muhammad he say verily. When Muhammad he say verily, the, ver the all the verilin in the world will come to you. Verilin from the sky, even verilin, verilin, you know, uh, Biden. Verily, look how sure he is. Confidence. You don't find that in different religion, brother. Here, there is confidence. Verily, uh, Muhammad, are you sure? With temperance. I just told you, verily. Zakir, I'm talking to your prophet. How in the world you jump on the line? I mean, how you can get inside? The, are you hacking my internet? With a prince. I live in Singapore. And you live where? In Singapore. You live in Singapore? I thought you live in Malaysia right now. Exactly. Because Singapore is better by Malaysia. What the heck? Okay, Zakir, I, so how... Al Muhammad, he say, verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in. Explain to us. Christian Prince, Allah wrote everything. I have an example. You go and you get horny. Uh, Zakir, how you know? Are you watching me? Christian Prince, behave yourself. Behave yourself. You, you just tell me you got horny. How, how you know? Uh, is the camera is open? Christian Prince, focus with me. So Allah, he made you get horny. And then Allah, he made you commit adultery. And Allah, he wrote that for you, and you have to do it. Do you think there's no, like, solution not to do it? Exactly. You have to do it exactly. It is it even about, like, how many times? Exactly. What about kisses? Exactly. Like, what the heck? Uh, <clears throat> uh, what about... Uh, Christian Prince, there's the women are listening. Please behave yourself. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to ask more. I think I, we got the image. So all of this is written 50 years, 50,000 years before Allah, he created us. Exactly. Okay, so, but why Allah want to punish us for doing this? Exactly. Zakir Naik, stop saying exactly, man. 
Why Allah will punish somebody doing adultery if he is the one who forced him to do adultery? Prince and Prince, the question is very easy. And I can give you the answer in two seconds. Okay, give us the answer. Allah knows best. Like, what the heck? This is the answer? Do you remember the Sheikh when we played the video of Aisha? Why Allah? Why Allah Prophet Mary Aisha? A Muslim woman, she asked the Sheikh, he said, this is very easy question. Very easy. Allah knows best. This is the answer. Look how easy it is. So this is how stupid it's called. So when this donkey Uthman, Ibn Farooq, Ibn Kachab, who caught the note in 1998, claiming that this is a hadith of Umar al-Khattab, speaking about the acquisition, and he claimed that he have a master's degree, and he says, do God, good God, according to your religion, it is God who killed everybody, according to your cult. Now we go back to this video here, so we can laugh more, because I like to laugh. Are we having a good time? Why well, we have only 1058? Okay, let me increase the number of the viewers. I will change the title and make it how to make the size of your willy bigger. Man, all the pervert people will come. Will join Islam, brother? The answer is very simple. Join Islam, Allah will give you endless penis. And that is the logic of God in Islam. You believe in me? I will increase the size of your penis. If you don't believe, I will make your penis in the size of Uthman ibn Farooq. I mean, I cannot make it smaller. Sorry. And then they come to us and they speak about logic. Okay, what is the video of this guy? Guys, for, for the sake of the penis of Muhammad, stop laughing. Show respect. All of you, you are jealous because you don't have such a penis. You have peanuts. The prophet, I mean, have you ever heard of religion? They are proud about their prophet, how much sex he can have. And who, who do, there's witnesses. I mean, when they say that the prophet have a power of 40 men, who was watching? Who, who was watching? I mean, did he do it in YouTube like live? How the Muslim, they knew that the prophet, he had power of 40 men. And let us say for the sake of argument, Aisha, she is the one who said that. How Aisha, she knew the power of men if she did not have sex with other men. You know what I mean? Like in order for Aisha to know that Muhammad power of 40 compared to other men, well, she had to compare it to other men, which means she had to sleep around. Uh, don't think too much. It's not good to be smart. It hurt. It hurt. It hurt. Hurt. Hey, brother, continue the logic, please. You know? Like imagine your your wife, she said to you, Man, you are the best in the bed. You need to ask yourself how many men she been with before. And she claimed to be virgin. Or imagine you take off your pant and she look at your <clears throat> and she said, Wow, this is the biggest ever I saw. But she is a virgin. And at that time there's no TV. No porn station, no satellite, no phone, no internet. Okay, okay, change the topic. Continue, please, with the with the logic of Allah and the destiny and the fate. Had ordained, whether it is good or other than that. Now, people are usually confused. I hate this sentence. When this guy he say people or or you know or usually are confused. Do you know what he mean? He mean Muslims. Brother, I don't like what you said. Are you sure? Now, people are usually confused. I mean, why? Why are they are confused? It's very simple. Allah He made you commit sin, and then Allah will punish you for committing sin. Very simple. Allah make you horny. And then Allah will punish you for being horny. Allah make you commit adultery. And then Allah will punish you for committing adultery. Very simple. What do you mean by people are confused? Please respect yourself. Don't speak about Muslims like that. Shame on you. I think this guy is a Jew. Actually, he looked like Netanyahu. Look, just think about it. 
Who paid for this station? It must be the Jews. Let us blame the Jews. Actually, Muhammad, he blamed the Jews for everything. Even there is a, if a woman, she could not have a baby, they will blame the Jews. Hmm? Look. Muhammad, Islam, he blamed two creatures or creation for everything. Eve and the Jews. And the reason you have a refrigerator in your home is because of the Jews. Look at this. Chapter the statement of Allah. What? Ta'ala. And we appointed Musa 30 nights. Look, what the heck? What this had to do? What the chapter name have to do with the story? Look at this. The Prophet of Allah said, Where if not Bani Israel, Bani means children. Israeli, no, Israel. Come on. Even this one I need to translate to you. I'm I, I give up. I, I'm going to go home. I mean, I can't take it no more. Even Israel, I need to translate. Yes, even this one, you translate the Muslims. If you ask the Muslim, what does Israel mean? They do not know. For all those names are stolen. What the Messiah mean? They don't know. What Abraham mean? They do not know. What Jacob mean? They don't know. They don't know. What then? What Allah mean? They don't know. Let us continue, continue. Forget about it. No, no, come on, come on. So, if we're not Bani Israel, meat would not decay. That's deep. And now I know I'm going to sue Israel. Do you know how much food I lost because my food decay many times? It turned to be the one behind this is the Jews. And I was shaking my head, says Aman Rabbi Aman. Who is making my food go in the damage in the Bartaman? It turned to be the Jews. But isn't this is a destiny? I mean, this, this stupid religion is really amazing. If the Jews are destined to be bad according to Islam, so why we can play? How we can blame the Jews, and how we can play Eve, blame Eve if what is destiny too? I mean, do you, do you see the stupidity? This 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 is cult is a collection of stupidity. If everything is a destiny, how we can blame the Jews, or even we can blame Eve, or we can blame anyone? You see, the funny is. The Muslims, they don't believe in the original sin. And then they see this. Can you believe this stupidity? Somebody says, how, 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 how do you know so much about Islam? My friend, do you consider this is knowledge? When I got my first degree, I called uh, that to tell him, hey, dad, I graduated. He said, you got the degree in 14. I got upset at that time, but now I understand. How come you know so much knowledge? What knowledge is that? This is farting. This is the most stupid knowledge ever, but it's you. now, because we need it, it's useful. Otherwise, who in the world want to listen to this garbage? What is this? What is that? So they say to you, brother, the Bible blame me for sin. The Bible. How many times you heard that? Look, this is your prophet. The Bible blamed both Adam and Eve for, for sin. But it's not God who forced them to commit sin. And then you find Muhammad, he claimed. You see, Muhammad and uh, Sheikh Uthman, they have the same issue. They suffer from time traveling. Caliphate Uthman was exist 1998. And according to <clears throat> Allah Prophet, Adam and Moses, they live in the same street, in the same place. And they used to meet each other and drink tea together and debate. At that time, there's no YouTube, you know, come on, you know, just be real, you know. So here you see this hadith, and this is Sahih, Sahih, Al-Bukhari, Al-Bukhari. The funny is Al-Bukhari is, is not even an Arab. He never met Muhammad. He never saw Muhammad. He's not even an Arab. And he is the one, the Muslim, they consider him the most accurate collector, collector of hadith. <laughs> Anyway, I'm very grateful for him. <laughs> and by the way, they don't have his book, do you know? Not a single Muslim, they have a Bukhari book. What we have here is somebody claiming from somebody, claiming from somebody, claiming from somebody, claiming from somebody that this is Al-Bukhari. Brother, I think it was a destiny that Al-Bukhari book is lost. It's a destiny. Why we don't have Al-Bukhari book? Destiny. Why we don't have the Quran? Destiny. Why we don't have the Injil? Destiny. Why we don't have the Torah? Destiny. Khalas, khalas, my mistake, khalas. You know to Arabic word here, you can repeat the name. And now look here, it says, 
that uh, uh, Moses and Adam, they have a debate, you know? Uh, and by the way, if you think that Adam and Moses did not live in the same time, obviously you do not know history because the prophet, he knew best. I mean, I want you to shut up immediately because you are thinking right now, how in the world Adam and Moses, they are talking to, where they met? This is the question will come to your head, right? That because you are ignorant. Adam, he lived not only in the time of, actually me, myself, I saw Uncle Adam. He's my uncle. At, at that time, there was no phone, you know, like because I'm ancient too. But, uh, you know, I took pictures, I should take pictures to prove it to you. But I mean, who need pictures? The prophet, he went to up to heaven and there's no witnesses. In Islam, you need four witnesses if somebody, if in somebody, but go on, somebody claimed to be a prophet, he go to heaven, he see angels, he see God, or oh, sorry, he did not see God. He did not even talk to God. And he, he's, even he saw Moses there. What the heck? What Musa is doing there? I thought he's dead. Don't think, don't think. Thinking will kill you. So here, Adam and Musa, they are debating. And Musa is accusing Adam of original sin. Which means Musa, he don't believe in Islam. Musa, he believe in original sin. As you see, he says, because of you, Adam, you idiot, we are kicked out of heaven. Adam, he said to Musa, Khabibi. You know, you know, Musa, you know, you know his, name, his real name is Musa. So Moshe, he came to uh, Adam. He said, Habibi, 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 Adam. You are our grandfather, Habibi. But because of your stupid mistake, Habibi, we are kicked out of heaven, Habibi. Adam, he could not take it. I mean, his grand, 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 grandson, he's saying that to him. This is unbelievable, you know? But what he can do, he don't dare to open his mouth. Moses is a Jew, Adam is not. And you know what does that mean? He have Israel in his back. Who's, be, who's behind Adam? Nobody. He have only he have only one kid. So Adam, he want to run away from the accusation. He said to him, Habibi Moses, Allah, how you can blame me for a sin Allah decreed for me 50,000 years before he created me? And by the way, here it says 40. Do you see the 40? Here it says 40. The guy in the TV, he was saying 50. Why? Because Muhammad, he cannot keep his numbers up. I mean, Muhammad, I think he used to update his numbers. Like there's a software version for software version five. I mean, if it's 40, 40, uh, and here, here it says 40 years. I thought it's 50,000 years. What's 40 years? Do you see the stupidity of Muhammad? In one place he said, that Allah wrote destiny 50,000 years. Let me go back to that video because you have a you have a bad memory. I know all of you are old, not like me. I'm I'm the only one in 17 here. Unbelievable. I don't know why I'm sitting with those old people here. You know? Listen carefully. And years before Allah, the Prophet tells us, alayhi salam, this was. 50,000 years before Allah created the creation. Do you see the stupid Muhammad? There's a huge difference between 40 years and 50,000 years. I mean, do you see the stupidity? This guy, he claimed to be a prophet. And he is not missing like one zero, two zeros. He is missing tons of zeros. And even the number is not, 40 is not 50. 40 years. You see, if it's 40 and 50, I can say maybe there's an error. This is 40 years and that is 50,000 years. How this guy, he is a prophet. Okay, I'm not going to keep you long here, actually. I wanted you to get more excited. I want to do like, you know what they do in the, in the, in the TV? They do series, you know? So this is number one. You like to see number two? Come tomorrow. Invite your friends. As you see, our TV show is for free. Okay? And uh, disclaimer, you know, I, 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 the first time I learned about disclaimer, it was from the Quran. Anyone remember when disclaimer is exist in the Quran? Who, who remember, who remember? Let us see how many of you are really studying. I mean, I know like, uh, 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 Philip, you know, he uh, he knew, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know how many of you here we can remember. 
what where is where we can find the disclaimer in the Quran? The first one who made people sign disclaimer. Who? Allah? What the heck? Where is that? Okay. Brother and sister. Allah is the first one who opened Harry Potter school in the universe. Many of you think that Harry Potter is a fixin. You know what? May Allah fix in you. It's not a fixin. It's true. So Allah, he sent two angels. One, his name is Harut, and the other name is Ismar. Look at the beautiful names. Harut. Uh, Muslims, what Harut mean? Marut. I, I, Abdul, I ask you what Harut mean? Uh, ma, okay, hold on. Okay, what Marut mean? Haru, okay, what? What do I keep jumping from Marut to Marut? What the name mean? They don't know because those are names, st fiction stories, stories from other nations. This is fiction stories about two angels sent down by God to open a magic school. Hori Butter. And you people laugh at Hori Butter? What's wrong with you? So before you learn, uh, before you join uh, the school of Allah, I really I like I like uh, Islam. It is the most entertaining, funny religions ever. I am not sure. Guys, do you think that this guy here in the screen is Harut? The one with the white hair? I am suspecting that this is Harut himself. Okay, look at this guy. I don't know, think about it. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to figure out. I'm like a normal citizen like you. Allah knows best at the end of the day. <laughs> and why Allah, he opened the school? You know, Muslims who speak about logic. I mean, look at this stupid religion. God, he opened a school to teach the man to do black magic so a man and wife, they will fight. <laughs> it's logical. It's logical. I mean... It was boring. There's no men fighting with women at that time. Allah, he said to himself, oh boy, what I did to myself. What I did to myself. We need to make them fight. And I think, actually, you know, as you know, I have the green law, so I can work as a divorce lawyer too. That will increase our business. Let me put a sign. I will put a banner. Divorce lawyer, call me right now. It's your fate to call me. And I have to convince you that you have to put, it's your fate to call me. And by the way, if you question why the bill is so big, I would say it's your, it's your fate to pay me that bill. Allah, he wrote it in his book. 50,000 years before Allah created everything, is written this bill. How much you will pay me? Oh boy. And until now, you are not convinced that Islam is from God? The first one who opened magic school to teach the wife and the husband to beat each other? Unbelievable. I love it. I love it. If your mother-in-law, she is giving you a headache, it is because of Allah. It was a destiny. Shall we finish this video or we continue tomorrow? What do you think, guys? I'm being tempted to stay. You know, one of the biggest temptations in my life is... The true stories of Allah. Allahu Akbar. Actually, I believe that this guy, the reason he looked like this, he did receive Quran. And this is what happened to Muhammad first time he heard the Quran. Like, what the heck? Especially when the guy Jibreel, he was squeezing him. And Muhammad, you know, when the angel, by the way, he squeezed, he smashed your face. And this is after makeup, by the way. I mean, he was smashed badly. I never heard of a god 
he sent a message to a prophet who did not know how to read. And he said to him, read. And the guy, he said to him, I do not know to, how to read. And then the guy in response to explain to him, to explain, look, look at the explanation. <sighs> Once I have a friend. He saw a beautiful woman. She tried to explain to him. He keeps saying to her, I don't understand. I took him in the side. I said, you idiot, what's wrong with you? I mean, it's so clear. He said, you don't understand too. The prophet of Allah, when he could not read what the angel did, I said, he was squeezed. He said, this is what I'm trying to tell her. She need to squeeze me. I could not understand. I cannot read. <laughs> what a smart idiot. What the heck? And now, like many of you, those men here, they, they, they're in a trick, you know? So he got a woman, beautiful woman, and she said to him, let us uh, tomorrow do, etc. And said, I don't understand. Explain again. Uh, let us tomorrow. And then she give up. Like, she can't take it no more. And see, now she has to squeeze you. And this is the moment you are waiting for, your little monster, aren't you? Huh? Ah, oh, little shaitan. Genie, genie. You are a genie. And by the way, what is the guy, his name, Palestine? He said that we are worshipping genie. Genie worship. Isn't it genies are Muslims? There's a chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of the jinn. The holy chapter is the genie talking. And the Muslim, you claim nobody can make Quran. And then we find that the genie making Quran. What the heck? Anyway, anyway. I can't say anyway in Islam. I have to say only Allah way. Actually, even this one was taught to him by a Jew. Muhammad, he, you know, he claimed to be a person who believed in Tawheed. But do you know that the first one who taught Muhammad Tawheed was a Jew? Yeah, yeah, Tawheed, yeah. Huh? Uh, look, 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 what happened, look. Don't look too much. Look, look, look. What the heck? Once upon the time, Muhammad was teaching the people. I know many of you will make fun of my English when I say the people. You know what? There's a person who made fun of me saying the people. Do you know what happened to him? Second morning, second morning, not third morning. Allah, he put in his book, in his faith book, that he will have a pimple. Because he made fun of me saying people. You want to get a pimple? Look at this. So a Jewish guy, he came to Muhammad and he said to him, you are a mushrik. What the heck? You are a mushrik. You associate somebody with God. What? Did the Prophet says no, we are not? No. Did the Prophet says no, you are wrong, let us debate? No, he agreed. And even he told them to do as the Jew, he said, read it. The Jewish guy, again, a Jewish guy, you know, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi. I mean, what kind of a Prophet? A Jewish guy walking down the street, he schooled him about what to say in order not to commit shirk. Hmm. Oh boy. Anyway, I'm going to. Uh, what? How long we are here now? Time go fast. Fifty-four minutes. Uh, this will be the shortest video ever I did, maybe in five years. Man, that will be very short. You know, one Christian prince, he make a short video. It's like 10 hours. Like, he say, I'm going to leave like 30 minutes ago, right? And now like he's leaving, you know, like, hey, okay, Christian prince. I mean, what's wrong with you? My friend, you can't, you can't blame me. It was a destiny. It's written in the book of Allah when I'm going to leave. I try to resist. The only one who can resist destiny is Mushe. Anyone remember how? See, the Muslim, they say that if you are a... Uh, you want to die? Allah, he wrote your time of death, right? Moshe, he changed that. Allah, he sent the angel of death to take the life of Moshe. Moshe, 
Hey, pay karake. Ching, hoo, hoo, hee, hoo. I mean, I, I'm not going to fight with Asian people, man. All of them, they pay karake. Unbelievable. I mean, you watch the movie, the Chinese movie, everybody is even, even they fly, how they fly. And what is killing me, why even they buy an airline ticket if you can't fly? Chi hoo, and the guy, he jumped from a tree. I tried once to jump from a tree to a tree. I will never do it again. Unbelievable. So look what happened. Allah, he sent the angel of death. This guy, like, you know, big angel, you know, like he have a hammer. You know, he kill people. So Allah, he sent the angel of death. And, uh, okay, to Moshe. Moshe, he don't like to die now. I mean, I don't blame him. He was dating a nice, beautiful girl. And the angel, the angel, he came to him when he was in the coffee shop with her. And Moshe looked at him like, what the heck? Now? The angel, he said, mm-hmm. He said, now. Moshe, he said, uh, uh, come on. The angel, he insists, brother. He insists. So, Moshe, he stood up and he did his move. Ching! It's respond, okay, it says here, Abu Huraira reported that the messenger having said that the angel of death came to Moses and he said, respond to the call of nature, like Allah. I e be prepared for death. You see, the Muslim explained to you because you are slow. MashaAllah. Moses, peace be upon him, said, he, he did not say, this guy, he didn't talk. This is what I like about Moses. You know, like in the movies, you know, like you say, do you know what you are talking Do you know you are talking to who? Moses, he don't waste his time. Right away, he gave the angel a blow at the eye. No talk. No discussion. Nothing. Like, he doesn't even explain why. I mean, look how embarrassing you are. The angel of death sent by Allah to take the life of Moshe. And what Moshe do? He beat the hell of you. And here you see, not only the story is so stupid, but this is mean Moshe, he can stand against the will of Allah. And what they call fate is a joke. Because the guy, he refused to die. Sorry, they Palestine. Hey, Palestine. Now we knew why the Jews, they are victorious. I mean, look at this guy. He did beat even the angel of Allah. A Jew. And you are wondering why the Arab, all of them, and all the Muslims cannot win against Israel? If the angel of death, and look what happened, hold on, the story is getting even better. Look. So he gave him a blow at the eye, and uh, the angel of death, and he knocked it out, a point, point, like what the heck? You see, I understand that he did give a blow to the eye of the angel, but to knock it out, that is a different story. How in the world, how powerful this box, man? Uh, any Muslim can explain to us. He knocked the eye out. You know, even me, I could not do that. I mean, I've been in many fights. But I cannot claim that I knocked the guy eye out. I knocked his nose out, boogers out, his tooth out. But his eye, that's too much. I don't know what kind of movie Muhammad was watching, but for sure it was not cartoon. And imagine you are an angel of death. And you killed millions and millions. And now you are beaten again by a Jew. And you go back to Allah. And your eye is coming out like a Rasul. Allah, he says to you, what's wrong with you, Hansel? What happened? Uh, he said, uh, you send me to a slave. You don't want to die. You go, what the heck? Allah, he could not believe it. Brother. Who can come with a story like this, save Prophet Muhammad? Actually, this story should be told in a different way. I mean, all of you, you like side effect, don't you?
like side effect like you take medicine you have side effect why you don't, you don't like the medicine by the, by the way you take the medicine so you can get side effect so you can take a vacation <laughs> we know it <laughs> you know so the prophet he said to them the angel of death came to the prophet Moses And he said to him, I will take your life. Moses looks up. He did not like it. He's losing his patience. Commercial break. If you like to watch CNN, all fake news, watch the program of Prophet Muhammad. Fake news. The angel was beaten by, by Prophet Musa. He knocked his eyes. And uh, uh, Trump, he lost the election. And uh, you know, uh, thank you. Uh, end of commercial break. What the heck is that? When Musa looked up, and Musa don't look up too much, you have no idea. Musa look again. The stupid angel did not go leave. It was the last warning. And Musa stood up. Commercial break. If you have a problem with standing up, please watch our program, Stand Up Comedy, where we laugh at Muhammad, peace be upon him. He tell all kinds of his stories, and all of them they are proven to be true, scientifically true, like the sperm coming from the backbone. The sun set in murky water. Women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. Please join us anytime, any day, any way, even in your uh, highway. Moses stood up. And he look and fire coming from his eyes. Moses, I said to him, Moses, please. Moses is boiling. I said, Moses, listen to me. Moses not listening. I said, Moses, don't. Moses did not listen. If you have a problem with listening, please listen to the Quran five times a day. First you will have a headache, then you will have diarrhea, and then you will die with laughing. What a beautiful death. The end of commercial break. I mean, when this movie is going to be over, all of it is a commercial break. This is what you do in YouTube. Like you want to watch something every two seconds, like a commercial break, commercial break, commercial break, commercial break. What the heck was the break? I mean, you break our nose, you break our eyes, you break our budget, you broke our time, all of it for commercial break. Just because they want to give us a service, it's called YouTube. <laughs> is it YouTube or you've been harassed? Change the name. Anyway, so Musa's he stood up. After all the advice I gave him, Musa don't listen. He walk one step, two step, three steps, four steps, five steps, six steps. If you have a problem with sex steps, read the Sharia Allah because they will teach you all the steps for sex. As an example, before you have sex with your wife, you have to pray to Allah. Otherwise, Shaitan will rub himself around your penis and then he will do your wife. So please follow the sex steps of Allah. Moses stood up, walk on the steps, and he punched the angel on his eye.
the end. And then this guy, Abdul, potato, tomato, idiot, he want to speak about logic. In his logic, Omar al Khattab was exist 1998. In his logic, he got them schooled. In his logic, he won debate. In his logic, he knew Arabic, but yet he caught a notebook from 1998 claiming this is Omar al Khattab talking. Haddatana Wakia, Haddatana Baliya, Haddatana Samia, Haddatana Balbalbaya, Haddatana Haddatana. And then we find out that this is a note from 1998 book. Next time, would you please quote for us Mickey Mouse claiming this is a hadith from the Prophet of Allah? People, Tomorrow we will be live on air at 10.30 New York time. So if you like to be with us, if you like to laugh, if you like to learn, if you like to enjoy your time, same time you educate yourself with the Prophet Moshe, if you like to learn how to do karaoke, Moshe, he called me right now and he said we will open a free program for karaoke. As you see, Moshe can beat the angel. Who can do that? Who can do that? Nobody can do that. Only Moshe. Moshe only, and forget about the rest. So tomorrow we will be at 10.30 a.m. in the morning, New York time. We will be here live, invite your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, and you are already subscribed. Don't forget to unsubscribe, because according to Islam, bad deed will be erased by good deed. So it's bad deed to subscribe to me. Unsubscribe, Allah will give you two deeds. In the top of the bad deed, that's me, brother, you want two deeds. What the heck is that? Genius. And then they say to us, it was a destiny. So if you subscribe to me today, it was destiny written by Allah 50,000 years before Allah created you and before the YouTube is created. And it's certain that your head who touch the subscribe button, it was Allah he forced you. Thank you very much. And we see you soon again with more subscription and more knowledge from the God, the true God, the only true God. I don't know, today I feel like I'm speaking like Russian. True God. What the heck? What happened to me? Do you think Allah, he just cursed me? What the heck? I'm trying to say the word true. I can't say true normally. True. What the heck? True God, Allah. Well, okay. Now I know what you are doing, Allah. You are trying to force me to say that there's only God is the Trinity God and you are nothing but a scam. And here we got you busted. Thank you. God bless you. And this is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today with comedy from the mouth of Muhammad in my tongue. It's even getting more tasty. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. 